Hi friends, I hope wherever you are in the world, you are happy and healthy. My name is Tammy, and if you're new here, I'm glad you're joining me. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. Um, today, I am going to be sharing my entire tarot collection. Um, if you happen to see my Oracle collection, this is probably even a little longer. So be sure to get a snack, a drink, make yourself comfortable. If there is a specific deck you would like me to go into detail with, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and um, let's get started. So I'm gonna try to go through these fast. However, there's a lot of them, so I don't know how fast I can actually go through them. So the first deck is the Oz deck. Um, I think this one's in order. So I'm just going to skip around so you could see some. So this is all about the Wizard of Oz, not just Dorothy. And then from the same creator, and they actually came up with this other one first is the Titanic Tarot. And to be honest, I kind of went back and forth on should I get this one because um, I've always been fascinated by the Titanic. However, um, and oh, this is a perfect card because if you rotate it, you have two very different images. Um, but although I've been fascinated with Titanic, I also did not want to, you know, it, it is a tragedy that happened. So I kind of went back and forth on this one. Um, in the end, obviously I did get it. And this also has a little bit of fantasy because it also includes mer people in it in some of the water scenes so I'm trying to see if I can find one that has the see like on this one you can see a mermaid um, so there's a little bit of fantasy with that well because there is a little bit of fantasy with that and um, there were some other pictures that could be used they made a second copy and this is the Titanic Risen Spirits copy. And so the mermaids are not in this one. And a couple of the pictures have changed. And it's more scenes um, instead of necessarily pips. So like eight of coins. So as I'm not much of a pip person, I definitely had to turn around and get this one too. So I have both of the Titanics. And I will be keeping all three of those decks. Then I also have um, this one, the Neo Rider Tarot Collection. And this is like the, the dark one. As they go flying. These ones are a little slippery because they're plastic, which, you know, it's nice because, um, you know, if, they, if anything spills on them, at the same time, uh, it makes them a little bit more slippery. But they are very pretty. And they have nice edging. I have two others from this collection. Um, however, they are somewhere <laughs> in the mix. So I'm gonna keep that. And just put these while I'm at it. Here's another one from the same collection. This is the antique one. So 
so they just kind of look a little bit more antique looking they don't have all the glitter and these ones are not plastic but still very beautiful with gold edging and then somewhere in this pile I have the love one which is the pink one and when I find it we'll get to it so I'm gonna keep that um, I also have the tarot of trees and I haven't played with this one nearly enough um, and this is the small deck instead of the big one obviously right. and um, so <laughs> I'm keeping that. Most of these I'll end up keeping. Next is my Goddess Tarot, and this is one of my earlier decks. So I've had this one for quite some time. These are the backs. Oh, I should have probably been showing you the backs of the others. I'm going to keep this deck. I think it's safe to assume I'm just keeping them all unless I say I'm decluttering it. This is the Golden Girls. And I had to get the Golden Girls because I loved this show growing up. They were all phenomenal actresses. Is Guardian of the Night by MJ Kulinen. I am not sorry I'm, I'm not sure how to say that last name um, she now has this deck mass market however this is not a mass market copy this is one of her private copies love that And from the same creator, I have the Grimalkin's Curious Cat. And this is the back, such a pretty back. That's a sad three of hearts. Love this two of wands though. <clears throat> this is the witch's wisdom and came in a really pretty bag. Um, it's a really pretty deck. Love the back. I have not edged it yet. Very pretty deck. But it's learning, like, almost learning a whole new system because the major arcana are flip flopped. So, where the full it would usually be the beginning, um, it is now the end. So, um, I have not played with this one nearly enough just because I know I'm going to have to dedicate a, quite a bit of time kind of studying it a bit more. Um, so, but it's gorgeous and that is going nowhere. Now this one, this is the ASL tarot. I have a pretty bag for it. Um, I was so looking forward to this deck and it's got beautiful edging, but you'll notice the deck is really, really thick. 
part of the reason why it is so thick is because this is straight up cardboard. It's like those coasters. And so, if I didn't love the concept so much, I would definitely be decluttering this because I can't really use it the way I would want to. Um, I don't get the satisfaction from the shuffle. <laughs> And, <clears throat> excuse me, with my small hands, like it's even hard to do like an overhead shuffle. So, <clears throat> I'm going to keep them because I do love the concept. I don't know, maybe I'll get over that frustration. Because um, they're beautiful cards, just the cardstock is horrible. Horrible. Um, next is my um, Children of Litha Tarot. And this is, oops, got to so you don't have the glare. A beautiful deck. I love the cardstock on this deck. It feels like rose petals. I love that cardstock. Next is my Shadowland Tarot. And I originally got this for <laughs> um, for shadow um, shadow work, but also for um, I just it's so cute, and I was like, oh, this is a perfect Samhain deck. But because it's so playful at the same time, like really I could use it year round. So, love this deck. I'm not very partial on the backs and I don't know, the edging is pretty, but um, yeah, I'm not, I don't really like these backs, but I can, I can tolerate them because the rest of the deck is just so gorgeous. Now this deck, the Phantom Tarot deck, it actually has um, an app to learn the cards as well as to make them kind of come alive. And I've, I've you know, checked out the app a couple times. That was really, I got it off the of Kickstarter and that was one of the big draws to this deck. Um, but I really don't use the app like I thought I would. However, this is still a really pretty deck. I don't know if this is going to be a long-term deck for me. I might in the future declutter it. Right now, I definitely want to play with it some more. So, this time it's not going anywhere. And I do appreciate that we got a gorgeous bag, too. Next is my five cent. Tarot, and this is actually the second edition. I did not get the first edition on Kickstarter. Um, that's probably the second edition. But they're still gorgeous. I love all the keywords. Um, the edging is pretty. And then I chose this Robin's Egg Blue for my backing. They're just beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping this. Sorry for the quick jump. I had everybody coming in. Anyways, uh, the next deck is the Wandering Moon Tarot. <clears throat> and the artwork is just, it's simplistic, but so beautiful. I just, yeah, it's got this beautiful edging, like a rainbow silver. 
and it's just it's so simplistic but gorgeous I wish I wish I was at all artistic I am not so that's why I have so many beautiful decks because I appreciate what other people are able to create the beautiful things that other people can create And I ended up getting this from Kickstarter too. Most of my decks are Kickstarter decks. Um, I do have some mass media decks, but a lot are Kickstarter supported decks. Whoop. I'm gonna have to just stick that in later because it did not want to cooperate. The next is the Bad B Tarot. And I love the creative process in this, of that it's all fashion, but tied into the fashion is the meaning of the cards and some of the symbols that you would normally see. Oops. So I have not played with this nearly enough. Um, and. And truthfully, it's not my go-to. So this will probably be one that I will declutter in the future. Um, but I do want to play with it because it's just such a unique um, angle on, on this. All right, the next one is, <laughs> you probably hear my cat, the Brady Tarot. And these are the backs. And what I love about these um, cards, besides the artwork, is that um, you've got like a keyword too. So it doesn't just have like <laughs> the number and, you know, the symbols, but then there's like a keyword summing it up. Excuse me, I'm going to go uh, get my cat. All right, so the cat is now out of the room. Hopefully we won't have any more uh, disturbances. All right, so this is the Boo Tarot. And this is such an adorable deck. If I can get this to open up. Why are you stuck? There we go. S such an adorable deck. Um, the backs are gorgeous. See, it's got that reflective. All right, and the artwork is just ugh, so adorable. This is definitely my favorite October deck, um, but I have pulled it out <laughs> other months because it's just so cute. Look at that pumpkin spice one, so cute, the world. So this is a definite. I don't think I will ever let that deck um, out of my collection. And then this is another favorite, the Dark Mansion Tarot. This is like second edition. I got it with the pretty blue backs, the black edging. And this is another deck that has like the very, you know, rose filling soft decks. I love that kind of cardstock, that kind of texture. It would be nice if this had more diversity in it. Um, I could say that about a lot of my decks. So I do try to get some that does have more diversity. This is my Journey of the Sacred Bee. Um, and this is another Kickstarter. Beautiful edging. And to be fair, when I got this, I didn't think that, I thought they were beautiful. I love bees. Um, I, I thought that, oh, this will just be a pretty deck. 
I did not realize it was going to be such a great reader for me. I just love this deck. I like to pair it with um, the Oracle. And I know they came out with like a third one. I did not get the third one because having the first and second um, decks was it, it's perfect. I don't need any more. All right, so this was another Kickstarter. It is now a deck, um, the Transient Light. Yeah, Transient Light Tarot. It is now a mass market deck, I believe. But this is um, part of the Kickstarter. And again, I thought the colors were gorgeous in this. I love the symbolism. Um, and it just was really pretty sim um, simplistic for me. I just, I was really drawn to this deck. And because of that, I thought it was gonna be a much better reader for me than it is. But um, I think I just need to spend more time with it. That's the problem though, having so many decks, it's hard to devote as much time to each deck as you would like, and then you end up getting some that just become your favorites, and you just pull them all the time, and end up neglecting others that may be a wonderful, wonderful deck for you. All right, next is the Healing Waves Tarot, and I was so happy to get this deck because there was only so many, and I grew up on the, um, by the ocean, so I, love the ocean and this is just a beautiful deck the edging is this very soft blue and the artwork is just gorgeous I, I say this over and over again obviously I think all my decks are just gorgeous because if I didn't if it didn't call to me in some way I would never have purchased it um, but yeah this has become quickly one of my favorites I mean, look at that High Priestess. It's just, I love it. I'm so glad I got my hands on it because I know that, you know, there were only so many copies and um, they weren't planning on making it again. So, yeah. Um, and this is my Mermaid Tarot. has nice gold edging well it's kind of like a brassy gold here are the bags and I really liked this deck because like the drawings just gives a very kind of like antique cards like playing cards kind of feel or advertisement kind of feel um, I feel like I keep turning things around hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy seriously <laughs> anyone dizzy anyway so definitely keeping this I have um, a love of all things ocean and mermaid uh, when I was six what I wanted to be when I grew up was a mermaid uh, obviously I did not get my fins but and this is the CS tarot deck I got this on make playing cards and I have the amber. I did not get the edging. Um, got the original cards. And I loved like the crackling effect in these cards. Here, this one you can kind of see it more. All those little cracks. Here is my um, Winter Weight Santa's Helpers deck. I know that they did one or two like Christmassy themed decks before this one. This was like 2020 or 2021. I love the candy stripes. And I keep wanting to like edge it in like a red, but at the same time I, you know, I don't want it to bleed into the cards, so I haven't done it yet trying to make it so you guys can see the cards without the glare. Sorry about the glare. Judgment. The hangman. 
Here's your three of swords with the icicles going through. I like peppermints. <laughs> Santa's there. <laughs> so definitely my December deck. And sometimes, you know, Christmas in July kind of deck. Um, the Cat Tarot. I did not think I was going to love this one as much as I do either. Um, I did edge these in purple. These are the backs. I thought, you know, with all the, uh, the cat decks out there that I would not love these as much as I do. I just love this little tongue hanging out. This deck, I feel, just really got the energy of cats. Um, it's just, yeah. So this became a quick favorite, and I really didn't think that, you know, when I got it, I didn't think I, I would. All right, then I have the um, Phalus Arca Arcanet, I don't know, this is the Cat Tarot one. <clears throat> Has this silver edging, and it's all black and white. Beautiful artwork, making the cats seem human. And I could not have that one without having its counter, the dog tarot by the same artist. <clears throat> so here's my dog tarot. And again, same concept. Um, the silver edging, the black and white, making the dogs almost like human. And then the same artist came out with a ocean one. And as much as I love the ocean, I needed to get it too. So this is the Ocean Tarot by the same artist. Now this one's in color, where the other two are black and white. And I actually really love the color. It adds so much to this deck. Um, I just definitely couldn't see it if it was black and white like the other two. The other two are fine black and white. But this one, I mean, the ocean. The ocean has so much color to it, so much life to it. Um, so I'm glad that the artist chose to put it in color instead of keeping with the black and white theme of the other decks. This is the Light Sears Tarot. It's a very modern deck. I find I really actually like the modern decks um, compared to the usual um, rider weight. Oh, and that is the back. <clears throat> and this is the spacious tarot. And I have the one where the pentacle, I believe it's the pentacles that um, is spelled incorrectly. Um, and I, I didn't want to get a new replacement card. I love it the way it is. So I did not get a replacement card. And I have considered getting their add-ons because I just love this artwork, but I have not done so yet. Love that hermit. I just, I adore that hermit. It just touches something like deep in my soul. Like I, it just resonates with me. And then this might hurt tarot deck. Again, this is a very modern one. Gorgeous.
and it's got the silver rainbow kind of edging. I missed out when they did it in the black rainbow edging, but still love my deck just as it is. Sometimes the eyes kind of, you know, freak me out a little on some of them, but. Trying to do it so you can't. That glare, Six of Cups. And I apologize for any glare uh, that you see. I'm still trying to play with lighting and getting it right. Um, okay, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I am back. I had to get some more decks. I'm sorry for the jump. This is the Art of Adventure Tarot. This is another Kickstarter. <laughs> this is another Hermit that I just absolutely love. There we go. <gasps> the hippie at the campfire. And it has this beautiful blue edging. It doesn't even do it justice. Camera. Then I have the fairy tarot. <laughs> and this is just so cute. not doing well with this whole decluttering. I don't, there's so far I'm keeping everything. But I did warn you. Um, then I have the Silhouettes Tarot. This is like second edition, I believe. Um, and there were several different options. It has this like brass kind of edging. I wish its book fit into um, the box, but it doesn't. And so my book, which is the same size, has to be kept in a um, safe place so it doesn't get lost. But that's gorgeous. Then I ended up by I ended up uh, supporting this Kickstarter and getting two copies of this, one for me and one for my daughter. Um, since she has her own collection happening. So again, like the, the um, copper kind of edging. It's just so cute that I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need to get this deck for myself too. Even though it was kind of made more towards um, kids, I just thought that it was just so cute. I'm like, where can I go? There we go. So, um, yeah, so we have two copies of this deck in our house, mine and my child's. And then I have the Witches Tarot, the Modern Witches Tarot, and it is a very modern take. Um, again, not my favorite cardstock. This is the back. Not my favorite cardstock, it's very kind of um, slick and not the easiest to shuffle in that way and they kind of go all over the place so but the artwork i love the modern take i love the artwork and that it is you know a bit more inclusive not completely but a bit more and i love that the book fits right in there too Now 
Now this is one of the decks that started it off for me, the um, Ancestral Path Tarot. This is not my first deck, but it is definitely one of my most loved decks. Um, I got this back in 96, I think. Um, and I just... I feel like I need more adjectives because I just keep saying the same thing. I love it. Well, that's a verb, but I love it. And it's just so pretty. And, <laughs> and this is the Star Seekers Tarot. Another deck that has that like rose finish. And I like that these people do not have faces. You know, it could be pretty, well, this one does. Um, most of them just seem kind of blurred out and or super small, so you're not quite sure. And I love the color scheme of this deck. It has this like purpley, I don't think that it's showing very well, but purpling edging okay so lighting is such an issue I'm sorry so this one's gonna be hard to see there we go this is the rabbit tarot and I got this on Etsy and it's super cute here's the back Let me so you don't get the glare um, I love the artwork it's super cute but it really it doesn't really read for me I thought April would be a great month with Easter um, to use these, but I think I'm going to put these on the chopping block. Yeah, This might be one that I declutter, so I'm going to put this one on the chopping block. I'm going to say I'm decluttering it. It might find its way back in my collection, but right now it's going to purgatory, so I can decide what I want to do. The next is um, Midnight, uh, Midnight City Tarot. Again, this is a Kickstarter. Here are the backs. I love the color scheme. And it's all about New York City. I think this magician is one of the cards that just did it for me. I mean, so I'm definitely keeping this deck. So, so far, I'm potentially decluttering one. <laughs> That's, this is the Doodle Tarot. I chose, um, this was another Kickstarter. I chose the deck that had the meanings on the, you can't see those meanings, has the meanings on the bottom because I thought, oh, my daughter can also like use this. It's a great like little learning tool. <laughs> it's just so. And so it has the meanings on the bottom and if it's upside down, you could still see, Let's see if I can get it to the words for in reversal. So that's just super cute. I, <laughs> I need to play with this a whole lot more, but it is just, adorable. You could have ordered it without the keywords, but... And then my Practical Magic Inner Witch Tarot came in. It just came in, so I haven't played with this one at all because um, I just got it. But I look forward to pairing it with my Oracle to see how they read together. So I'm excited to use that. And this time I chose the black, so it'll be easy to tell the oracle and um, the cards apart. Since my oracle has the gold edging. 
And then here's my tarot familiars. And I'm not going to lie, this, this picture sold it for me. I just love cats, and it has some of the cutest, like, here's the back, and I don't like the back because I, I like it where, you know, I can't tell either way. I don't really breed reversals very often, but I, yeah, I don't like the back whatsoever. Um, the artwork that it does have is great. But then it has the pips, and I'm just, I'm not a pips person. When it's not the pips, the artwork is beautiful. I mean, look at that sun. The bunny, Stonehenge in the back. I mean, the moon. And then it has, there's just a title card. It has some super cute cat pictures too, um, but I I just don't, I don't like pips whatsoever. So this one is also going to go into purgatory um, and be decluttered. I'm like what is keeping that from going down easy? No, oh, it's the back. Anyway, so yeah, this is another one that will go into to be decluttered. I'll fix that later. Um, this is the Super Lunaris Tarot. This was another Kickstarter, and initially I was going to get it, and then I changed my mind. And then right before it closed, I quickly just grabbed it. And I'm so glad that I did. Like, look at this chariot. That's just, it's gorgeous. I love the artwork. I love the feelings that I get when I'm playing with these cards. Um, the emotions it pulls out of me. This just happened to be such a powerful deck for me. And I'm just so glad that at the last minute I grabbed it. And look at that pretty, well, I don't think you can really tell, that pretty edging. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so glad that at the last minute I pulled the trigger and got them after all. Because I really almost didn't. Um, this is the Pacific Northwest Tarot. And I grew up in Northern California. So when I saw this, I just... It has this pretty black edging. Here is the back. Yeah, when I saw this, I just had to get this deck. The artwork is gorgeous. The guidebook is ugh, so smart. It, it, it's just done so well. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that this deck is in my collection and that even though I no longer live on the Pacific Northwest, that I have this deck. It reminds me of home. All right, and then I picked up the Friends Tarot, <laughs> just like I picked up the Golden Girls. I had to pick up this because the 90s, I watched this all the time. Um, so yeah, I just, it was another deck that I just, <laughs> for giggles, I had to get. And then, oh, here's the other one I was telling you about, the Love um, Tarot, the Neo Writer Tarot with the Pink. And it's like a rose gold, all these cards. Again, these are slippery like those black ones, so not loving that too much. But the artwork is pretty. It is nice to have these, like, if I'm going somewhere, so if I did spill something on them, they'd be easy to clean up. Um, so... And then I actually got this from my husband, the Hobbit Tarot. And 
I've tried so many times since my daughter's into it. Now I'm into it. My husband had said a couple times he wanted to get some cards. And so I have purchased him three different decks. And this was one of them. I thought he would love them. And um, maybe I've purchased four decks. I don't know. Anyways, he ended up gifting these back to me because um, sometimes the metaphysical store near me will do like a um, card swap and you just bring in the cards you don't necessarily want so you can swap them out for something else that someone else doesn't necessarily want. Um, so I'm definitely going to um, declutter these ones because I am not a big Hobbit fan. So that's three. Woohoo! Then I have the Tarot of Oneness. And I just got this one a little while ago. So I'm still playing with this one. Again, artwork is breathtaking. It has this like peachish orange edging. And then I also have the Out of Hand Tarot that I just recently got a couple months ago. These are the backs. It has this like yellow, like almost like a lemon gold backing. I really like you could put yourself in their shoes. Like those are an extension of your hands. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping that also. Then I have the Tarot of the Celtic Fairies. Now I've always liked fairies, so that's one of the reasons why I got this deck. Um, I think a lot of the cards are pretty, but they're also, a lot of them are super busy. Like that's just the cutest, you know? so cute this little kid seeing a, um, a fairy hanging upside down for the hanged man um, so I go back and forth on whether or not I have a couple fairy decks now whether or not I want to keep this deck looking at it now I was planning on decluttering it but looking at it now I'm thinking no keep 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 I know it's busy but maybe if I just spend some time with them just really looking at the cards um yeah because there's just so much happening that sometimes that's it's just too much but it's so well done and it's super cute so i'm going to keep it after all. i'm not going to declutter it this one i had my eye on but i missed the kickstarter so i ended up getting on make playing cards and um again i liked it for the modern take i thought this would be a good um shadow deck for me. Uh, this is the back and the artwork is just really pretty. Three of Cups, hanging out with your friends, Six of Swords, Two of Cups, so I'm glad that I got them um, and I, I tracked them down because I was super bummed when I missed the Kickstarter. And then here is the Alice deck. And I have a couple Alice decks. Again, this artwork is kind of like that one mermaid. It's from the same creator. So I'm gonna keep this. I ended up purchasing the one where one uh, where there was an error. One of the cards does not, the four of wands does not have edging on it. <laughs> so you kind of see where that one is. I like that about my deck. It, it made to me, I know that it's an error, but to me, it that's something that just makes it more special, unique. Um, then I have the Spirit Song Tarot. And I love this. I love that it, you know, it has the card name, but then it has some keywords. 
It's very calming color scheme. And then I have my Crow Tarot. This is the mass market version. Um, I did not get the um, private edition. I did edge it in black. And this deck, actually, I, I slept on this deck for a long time. Even though I love crows, I slept on it for a long time because I was like, oh, this isn't going to read for me. And I was really shocked that I ended up loving it so much that I needed to get the Urban Crow Oracle and its, its um, extension, and then the Grimalkin Cats and the Roar Oracle, or yeah, is the Roar an Oracle too? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. So um, yeah, this deck started my love of this creator's work. So I'm keeping that. This is one of my all-time favorites, the Pagan Cats. This is actually my, I think this is my second copy. Yeah, this is my second copy. I have not edged this one yet. My first copy had the borders and I edged it in purple <laughs> and so there's a little bleed through. Um, but I love it so much, I wanted a borderless version. <laughs> I love that one. So I definitely love my Tarot of Pagan Cats. And half of me is like tempted to edge this one too, but um, I haven't. And I think I gave, I gave my initial one that is edged in purple. I believe I gave it either to my daughter or to my niece. Okay, then I have um, this one. The untamed, the untamed one, yeah, right? Yeah, the untamed mystery tarot. Now this deck, there were like six different versions that you could get. I believe I got the earth version. And that just, you know, determines what color scheme you get. You can see that rainbow on there. So beautifully done. So I have like the copper brass edging, like that's the back, how gorgeous is that? There are eyes all, all in this deck, so some of these cards are kind of freaky looking. But like, you know, see those flowers have eyes. Um, overall, I just, even though some of the decks, so here's the sun with a squirrel writing. Um, even though some of them are kind of freaky looking, just overall, it's such a well done, gorgeous deck. And I have another deck or two from this creator, so I knew that I was going to love this deck. All right, I will be back with some more. All right, I'm back. Okay, so my next two, um, this is the second edition of the Mons Tarot. And I got this because so many people were raving about it and I thought, oh my goodness, that's so cute. You know, that's inner child work. Um, so far, <laughs> I haven't really been able to like connect, connect with it. But I definitely wanna keep playing with it in hopes that I do, so. I'm keeping it because it is super cute. And then the Cosmo Beans. Now this one I connected with. And again, another like inner child work deck. I don't know if it's just because, you know, it's simplistic with the black, gray, um, white, and red, but it definitely um, called to me more. So I'm definitely keeping that. Then I wanted to study more of the chakra. So I wanted a deck for chakras. So I got this off of Kickstarter, supported it on Kickstarter. 
Um, the Chakra Healing Tarot, and this is the back. And so a lot of these have like two different chakras on some of them. Um, but I don't necessarily always um, connect that specific chakra to the meaning of a specific card. So I need to spend a lot more time with this to kind of better understand why the artist chose the specific chakras that were chosen because I would not necessarily choose all of the same. So it's nice to get a different perspective. Um, next is the Cosmic Visions Tarot. This is the back. I just fell in love with the artwork. Again, pretty simplistic, and then all of a sudden something is highlighted with the color. I shouldn't say simplistic because it's not really simplistic. I mean, there's a lot of details in there, um, but it's just, um, it, it's not overloaded with lots and lots of color. So the design is not simplistic, but the lack of excessive color makes it easier. All right, then I have the zombie tarot. I really wanted this deck because it just made me chuckle. And my husband for the longest time was like, nope, nope. Um, and then he ended up getting it for me for um, Hanukkah. <laughs> but there's one in here that just cracks me up. Like, it's pretty moon. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Every time I see it, it just makes me laugh. I mean, that's a good empress. <laughs> the mom with the zombie child. Oh my goodness. Anyways, the one that makes me laugh, she's going up the stairs. And then this is the good devil. This is the old cigarette machine. She's going up the <laughs> stairs and the zombies are all coming. So she's kicking the husband down the stairs, kind of like, um, it's either you or me and I choose me. <laughs> so I really like this deck. It's just kind of cheeky. <laughs> I mean, even just thinking about it, it makes me chuckle. I also really wanted this one, the Housewives Tarot. Um, first of all, it's so cute. It looks like a little recipe box. <laughs> and some of these just, I mean, the star with the 4th of July pie. <laughs> oh. The wands with the brooms and the mops. The hierophant being the radio. I'm trying to get the glare off of there. The magician with the washing machine. Oh, you can't even see the washing machine because of the glare. Sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm definitely happy with this one. Both of those two just, they make me chuckle. All right, then I got this. I ended up picking it up for my daughter also because she's really into the Disney villains. Um, and I picked myself up one because, oh, I'm gonna see, oh, no, I'm not, okay. Um, again, I thought, ooh, inner child. So this is the back. It doesn't have any edging yet. I haven't edged it. It has all different villains. It does have some um, some pip pipish kind of things, but like this isn't totally pipish to me. Like that's still a scene to me. Um, I can still read that. <laughs> the hermit. Oh man, I like her as the empress. So like this one, 
that that doesn't do much for me the water with the coins um, you know so some of them eh, but for the most part super cute I don't know how long I'll have this one in my collection but I'm not ready to part with it just yet but this will probably be one that I will part with in the future okay this one I am gonna part with the wisdom seekers tarot I ended up getting this in a subscription box and here's the back I like the artwork however it's pip and so I'm just not on board with the pip so I am going to declutter this. So is this number three? <laughs> yeah. Three so far I'm decluttering, not so great. Okay, this I got on Etsy. And this is the Moonlight Tarot. This is such a special deck. Um, first of all, the artist who created this, you could either get it in a bag or you could get the box. And I chose the box because I just thought it was so, so beautiful. Here's, let's see if you can get some of, no, it's not going to work. Anyways, um, so beautiful. And yeah, some of it is Pip, <laughs> not going to lie, but the art in this deck and the fact that these were all hand cut by the creator, the amount of just love that went into this deck. I mean, that is like one of my favorite all time sons. Um, I just, yeah, like that's just, I want to actually go there, you know? Um, so love this deck, very unique. I have not edged it. Because truthfully, I don't want to mess it, mess it up. Um, so I have not edged it. But that is just absolutely beautiful. And again, I got this off of Etsy. Um, this deck. This was another Kickstarter I supported. I was so excited to get it. Um, the Twilight of the Gods, the Delphi edition, or the Delphi, Delphic Maxim. So excited to get this. I mean, the artwork is gorgeous. However, it's also very um, distracting because not all the font on the bottom is the same. Not the same size, not the same type. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, yeah, not the same size, not the same type. And that's very distracting for me. I could cut it off, but to be honest, I don't think that they are necessarily all even. So I both love and hate this deck. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this deck. just really don't know like ugh, just really don't know and this one is edged like it's edged in the silver it's super pretty which is another reason why I don't want to necessarily trim it um, I think most of these say pentacle pentacles but then all of a sudden there's a cups or not a cups but a um, coin so yeah see here you can see two different size fonts So I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this deck. I am going to see if I can play with it without getting frustrated and annoyed by it. And if not, um, I'm probably going to pass this along and declutter it because if I'm not using it because it just irritates me, that's not, that's not energy I want to put out there. All right. Next is the Modern Love Tarot. And this is actually one of my February decks. 
I love, love, love this deck. It's not only gorgeous, but shows love in so many different ways. It shows self-love. It shows, you know, like this to me is like a self-love right there. It shows relationships between child and parent, partners. Um, so this is definitely one of my, I mean, and then it has different ages. So it's very inclusive. Um, so this is definitely one of my February decks. And oh, I don't know if I showed you the back. Here's the back. How pretty is that? Ooh. All right, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Let me move my keyboard. Okay, I'm back. Um, so my daughter just came in, so. Um, all right, so then I have two of the 78 tarot. I have the 78 tarot animal. Which has this beautiful purple edging. Like, why is it? Oh, there we go. And then I also have the 78. Stick that back in my sleeve. The 78 Tarot Ecological Global Art. And this one is powerful. It definitely packs a punch. And there's like the 78 magical. I don't have that or the oracle, but I think those might be on my list to get here in the future because I really do like these collaboration decks. I didn't think I was going to be a fan of collaboration decks because I do like my art to, you know, all kind of go together. But the way these are done, it just works so nicely. All right, then I have this. <laughs> big one. I got the big guidebook too because this is the I believe unnamed tarot and oracle. Yeah, no, the nameless one, tarot and oracle. And um, it's by the same creator as my Litha, Children of Litha deck. And I wish this went all the way because that's, that's one issue I have with this deck. But other than that, um, it's a very sigil heavy deck and it has more than the 78 cards because it also has an oracle connected to it. So I just absolutely adore this deck. I love to use the sigils um, and look up the meanings. It's just, I and it's definitely one that I have to use the book with on a lot of them. Um, but I don't mind because the book is so well done. Sorry as you see me tie this back up. I'm trying to make this fast because this I know this is a very long video. If you're still here, thanks for sticking it out. <sighs> then I also have um, Tarot of the Divine. And this is... Um, fairy tales from around the world and it has this beautiful like red oh no it doesn't have a red I did that <laughs> I, I edged it in red because there was so much red in the deck um, the tower 
Queen of Wands, it's Pele. So it does have a little book, but there's also a different book you can get to kind of learn more. So I ended up doing that too. The Herb Crafters Tarot. Love, 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 love this deck. I love all my decks. I need to really stop saying that because I do. I love all my decks. Well, all the ones I'm keeping anyways, which seems to be everything but possibly three. And I'm really sorry about this lighting because you can't see the words. Um, so there we go. Like, So this is the fi um, five of water. Chicory is two of air. Five of air is white sage. So it's just very beautiful. The book is wonderful. Um, and the backs look like that. So that was the Herb Crafters Tarot. And this is a mass market deck. Love this deck. I actually ended up purchasing it for a friend. The Urban Tarot. It's like a map of... And some of these are a little pippish, so three of cups. I do like it, you can't really say it, but it does have like a keyword down here, abundance for three of cups. There's the empress feeding the baby. So there are some pippish stuff in some of this, but, um, it's not so much that I have a hard time with it. All right, the Numinous Tarot, this is another modern deck. This is like the second printing, I believe, second edition. And here's the back. Oh, you can't really see that. There we go. There's the back. nightmare before Christmas and I edged this in purple here's the back tower the hanged the hanged man is Santa. Definitely a very cute deck. Again, there is some pips, but I can handle it on this deck. Um, the Wandering Star Tarot. This is now a mass market, I believe, but my edition is not a mass market one. Um, it's edged has gold gilding and these are really cute because besides having um, the artwork there are keywords in some of them I don't think they're in all of them is it in all of them oh no it is here you can see it built in there so it does have keywords in all of these cards too so in case you weren't sure Mm 
here is my back. I do not know what the, you know, if the mass market has some of this edging. Usually they don't, but you know, some of them do. So I'm not quite sure on this deck. And somehow I got the thing out, so I'm gonna have to fix that later. Um, Vasat Gypsy Tarot. Um, I got this because of the cover. I thought, oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. And, oops. And, you know, some of it is. Um, I also know that this is also a deck that could be taken very offensive, which I would never want to do and offend anyone. Like, I like some of the major arcana, um, but then the rest are kind of like regular cards and pippish. So I think because this can be considered offensive and I would never want to offend anyone, and so I can't really look at this deck the same way as I did, and then it does have a lot of like the pips. I mean, I know I have my other gypsy deck that I've had for years and that one I'm gonna keep, but this one, I think I am going to declutter this one. Um, so woohoo, four, I'm decluttering. Tarot of Wonderland. This is just so beautifully done. These are the backs. Here are some of the pictures, some of the cards. Definitely keeping this. And some of these I need to get a nice bag for um, after I finish with these ones. There's one more collection at least I think, that have um, bags. So I'll take a break and then put those ones up. All right, so this is the Trick or Treat Tarot, which I just got um, in the last couple months. <laughs> Here are the bags. And I just <laughs> love this concept. That's a nice nightmare one. the mom balancing with uh, the two kids. Four of Pentacles. It was just so well done. Uh, I definitely love this one. It's just, it's super cute and just so well done. <clears throat> and then Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. I am a fan of Edgar Allan Poe's work and a fan of Shakespeare's work. So when I saw this deck, I was like, yep, I've got to get it. <laughs> the Lovers, the Eight of Pentacles with Edgar Allan Poe there, the Five of Cups. <laughs> so, oh, it's not a sleeve thing. And then this is the back, and then I edged it in red. I just thought it was very fitting. And then this is actually two decks in one, the Book of Shadows Tarot. It has two decks. It has the As Above and um, So Below decks. I believe this is, yeah, this is the So Below portion of the deck. It's very modern. I like the artwork. And then this is the As Above side. So you can, you know, choose which, which deck you want to use, mix them both up, use them together. But I thought this was a beautiful concept that there's two decks in this one box. Okay.
I'm going to clear these away and then um, get the last group. Hopefully it's the last group. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm on my last groove, and if you're still here with me, thank you so much. Um, so these ones I have all in bags, and so some of them I may have to look up what they're called, and I think there's one I won't even know. So this is the Joy de Vivre Tarot. Anyways, this is super cute. I love the artwork, and the book is adorable. It gives all of these little characters like a backstory, um, and makes it really kind of come to life. So, <laughs> this is adorable. This one is my... Oh, this is the one that I'm not sure what it's called. I ended up getting it um, at the bookstore, and there was a book with it, like Learning Tarot, kind of book and I you know I loved the coloring of this deck it'd be nice if you could see like right side up right the coloring of this deck but I don't really know what this deck is called um, but it was nice it came with a book and like the whole bundle was like $25 it was a it was a steal um, then this one here is my Anna Kay and the people in this are just so they're they're not all beautiful like I mean they're beautiful in their own way but some of their expressions like they're just so expressive and I love that they're not like you know all the most beautiful looking model-esque I mean, it'd be nice if there was additional diversity in this deck, but, um, you know, they're not all super tiny. Not many, you know, bigger people though either. So it could be more diverse. Okay, more diverse. <laughs> and this is my everyday enchantment. I have trimmed this and edged it in this blue but it is very modern. Like, I could be that hermit. Definitely. I'm drawn to the hermit cards, as you can tell. The moon. Yeah, very beautiful. Very realistic and everyday. And then this is my Llewellyn Tarot. And I trimmed it with this brown, or not trimmed it, I edged it in the, with the brown. I considered cutting away, but I kind of like the look with it, so. And here's the back. Um, now these bags, uh, I will leave a link to the Etsy store that I got them from. I have purchased a lot of these bags. I just, they're so cute. They have like a little crystal. I don't know if you can see my little crystal there. There you go. Um, and someone from my hometown in Northern California makes this, so. This is my Oak, Ash, and Thorn deck. This is definitely um, a deck I use during autumn. I love the artwork of this artist, and it's just such a well done deck from the creator and um, the artist. So much so, I had to get another deck that you'll see here soon, even though I'm not much into dragons. Cherry, it cracks me up. And there's one with the mouse that just, I love it. I, this one. The hanged man. 
love it. So I'm really happy to have this deck in my collection. And then, see here's another one from, you'll see a lot of these bags. So I'll leave a link to their store. Oh, here's the dragon one I was talking about. Um, what is this deck called? I'll have to look it up. Let's see here, I think, did I put it in here? Um, let me flip a couple of these for you. Mm. I don't remember what this deck is called. Smoke Ash and Ember Tarot. Yeah, the Smoke Ash and Ember Tarot. And like I said, not much for dragons, but the artwork is just so divine that I was like, yep, nope, I've got to get it. I think anything that this team creates, I will likely end up purchasing because they do such a phenomenal job. And this one here is um, my Cosmic Cycle, I believe. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Cosmic Cycles. And there was a lot of, that's just my thank you card. There was a lot about this deck, like people waiting, having a hard time getting their hands on it. And I just kind of lucked out because I did not um, support it on Kickstarter. I was not on Kickstarter at the time that this was. However, I was able to get it off of Etsy and I've got the limited edition one, so it was already in purple. And I really do like the artwork and the stories in this deck. Um, some of the cards are just so dark though that I get it, like it wouldn't have the same feeling if it was much lighter. At the same time, my old eyes are, sometimes has an issue with that. Okay, this is my eight coin um, tattoo. Yeah, my eight coin tattoo tarot. And this is breathtaking. I just love this. And the story behind this deck, the artist who created this deck decided to change careers, wanted to be a, um, become a tattoo artist and needed a portfolio. So they chose to create a portfolio um, for t with the tarot. So love that story love that deck. This is, I believe this is the Our Story. Yeah, this is the Our Story deck. And this is all like strong women. And the book, oh my goodness, the book is so wonderfully in depth. And I like to pair this with my Roar Oracle. And this is the back. We're again towards the end. If you have stuck it out, I am thoroughly impressed. <sighs> All right, then this one here, I got the three pack on Kickstarter. This one is my Prisma, right? I wanna say, yeah, this is my Prisma or Prismal. Prismal Visions. And if you put them all together, it makes like a story when you line them up. It's like a big old storyboard. It's so gorgeous. It has a nice silver I'm running out of space. 
this one is my, I want to say that this is going to be my Light Visions. Oh, maybe the other one was my Light Visions and this is my Prisma. Prismal, yeah. I haven't played with these in quite some time. So I need to take them out and play with them so that I recall what is what. <laughs> Does this one tell me? This looks like the cosmic, but I know it's not. Oh, okay, no, it is. This is the Cosmovisions. Okay, so this one is the Cosmovisions. Oh, I should, I would have known that if I'd seen this one. Life on Earth. So this is my Cosmovisions, sorry. And this one, truthfully, I've only used like maybe, I've probably only played with it three times. So definitely need to take that out. Okay, let's try that again. So my camera just completely fell. So the first deck was the Prisma Visions, the second one was the Cosma Visions, and this is the Light Visions. And I think I might have even learned like how not to get so much of a glitter so you can actually see. Maybe, maybe not. And again, if you line them all up, this will have like a beautiful storyboard and it has pretty gold gilding. Okay, this one here is my Oh, I just got this one. Um I got this on Make Playing Cards, I believe. What is this one called? It didn't come with a book or anything. Um have to look that one up. Sorry. Let's see here. This one is the... Mm. Did I not put it in my list? Might not have even put it on my list. This is my... Well, when I come across it later, I will say what it is. I might not have even written it down. Yeah, I do not see it. So, I don't think I even wrote it down, but it is on Make Playing Cards. Hmm. Oh, well, that's going to drive me insane. And then I edged them in black. I might even have to look on Make Playing Cards. So I will look and see if I can find it and leave the link below if I can. All right, this should be my mermaid, I think. Yeah, this is my mermaid tarot. So down below, if I can find it, I'll, I'll leave the name or link to that one deck, and I'm going to leave the link to the Etsy store for um, the person who makes these beautiful bags. This is my Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot. And this is another deck that um, there was a lot of talk about, people waiting a long time for this deck, and um, I managed to get it on Etsy and there were only so many made 
and at the time the creator said that they weren't going to make any more they did end up putting up the drafts like in black and white deck it has this beautiful red edging the edging is kind of coming off and getting banged up a bit but that's okay i love my cards uh looking well used and loved so she did come out with a black and white like version i don't know if she's still not going to release it again or not if she does release it i definitely recommend that you get it if you can because it's just beautiful and the book is oh great okay this is my forest of enchantment down to the last four. This is my <clears throat> um, everyday, it's not my everyday witch. This is my, <sighs> which one is this? Not my everyday witch, but my... This is what happens when you have too many decks. The ones that you don't use as often as the others, you just don't... The Green Witch Tarot. How did I forget that? Okay, so this is the Green Witch Tarot. Um, I'm sure some of you are probably yelling at me, The Green Witch Tarot! Because it is a gorgeous deck. But when you just have such a large collection, you can't give them all the love that they deserve. So I should, you know, uh, declutter more, but I do want to spend time with these decks. <laughs> and I do use nine decks. Um, you know, I have nine decks up around my room that I use every day. And then sometimes I pull a different deck if, if I'm doing a certain reading for myself or if a certain deck wants me to play. Um, so they get love, they just don't get enough in the sense like I dedicate, with the exception of those nine decks that I might dedicate two weeks to and then switch out, or I might dedicate a month to and then switch out, um, they just don't get as much. This is my Everyday Witch. I love the back. And it's just so, so fun. For a while there... I had stopped uh, collecting and stopped using my decks and I just when I would try to do a reading I was not getting anything not even a one a day poll and so there were a few years that I just you know stopped and then I got this deck and all of a sudden it was like the floodgates opened again so definitely have a soft spot for this deck and then my last two This is, oh, this is my Telluric Tarot. I love pairing this one up with my Telluric um, Runes deck. And so each one has a stone or a crystal and a plant. And the book is just phenomenal love this deck but this is definitely one that I have to use the book for um, just because I love reading about the stone and the plant and how they connect to that card and that cards meaning and then last one yay oh actually it's not the last one but I'd have to find the last one the last one is original um, Rider weight that I got back in the early 80s but it is somewhere put away safe because it has so many memories of middle school with it this is my mythical fairy mythical or mystical um, and the good thing about this deck is that it completely tells a story 
Oh. oh, maybe I took it up. <laughs> yeah, I want to say it's my mythical fairy. Anyways, um, each, each, um, like all of the cups tell a story, all of the wands tell a story. And so it, it was very nicely done. I don't know how long I'll keep this deck though, because I've read the stories. It's pretty, but like I said, I do have so many decks that I think that this probably down the road might be one I will declutter. I'm not decluttering it now, but one down the road that I might declutter. So I'm going to put all these away. I'm going to count up. We didn't do that well. We only decluttered four this time. But I'm going to count up all my decks and I will be back with all my totals. Thanks for sticking it out with me. So I added them up and I have 106 tarot decks. And I only decluttered four, so that puts me at 102. Between my tarot and my oracle, I am not that far away from 200 decks total. And I have a couple decks that should be showing up in the mail soon that I ordered back in 2020-2021. So, um, wish me luck! <laughs> It, again, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.